I just recorded this whole long video and uh, evidently it didn't record at all because I never hit record. <sighs> so let me try again. Okay, first of all, this video is going to be dedicated to Jess because I'm making the video for her and that is usually what a dedication means. So there you go. That's that. Um, tonight, I want to talk about a very troubling topic. Um, this one may no be close to a lot of our hearts and may trouble you to watch this so I have to warn you if you have children in the room they should probably leave um, and I, I don't mean to offend anyone but this topic is putting up your tent in the dark it's maybe your tent maybe someone else's tent but it is a tent nonetheless. And you see, to put up a tent in the dark requires much skill. Um, this skill can be acquired, well, by putting up tents in the dark. And if you've never done that before, it, it actually will be quite hard. Especially if you don't have the right poles. Now, getting the poles is a very important part because, you see, a lot of times you'll grab the tent, but you'll grab the poles to another tent that you threw out, but you never threw out the poles. So you think those are the right poles, and in the dark you can't really tell, can you? So you go to put up the tent, and you've only got two poles, and this tent requires about seven, and you start thinking, maybe these aren't the right poles, and, and why are they too long, and and this doesn't look like a tent. So then you, you know, decide, oh, well, I need the right poles. So you get the right poles, and uh, the tent goes up. Now, with any bit of luck, it actually will be up. Um, if you're not so lucky, well, in the morning, you might not recognize it as a tent. It may look more like a big black blob in the middle of your yard, you know, covered with a tarp, because that's what we do. Um, so I wish you the best of luck with that, and I hope, um, hope all your travels are good with your tent. So the next thing is um, be careful what you do with your monster. Uh, monster meaning monster energy drink. Um, comes in many different varieties, but the best is the original, the one with the green M on the can. Not the blue or the orange or whatever else there is. Um, be careful with it, meaning be careful where you set it, because your neighbors may just find it in their bushes in the morning. This is because of a phenomenon we like to call wind, and this may blow your empty can across your yard into your neighbor's bushes, and your neighbors might not be that happy with you. So be careful where you put your monster, I'll be careful where I put mine, and we can all get along then. I, I, I sincerely hope that the world will be a better place once we, you know, be a little more cautious with our monsters. Um, and, uh, well, that's going to be it for this video. Um, hopefully if someone, uh, or anyone, uh, give me some more ideas for a new video, I can make them a little more often than once every month or whatever it's been since my last one, not counting the drumming in the video tutorial, because that, that's not this, uh, one-way conversation I have with my camera, which is very fun to do. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, give me give me some ideas. I'd love it. And uh, that's it. Peace.